It's January, it's cold outside, the fish aren't biting, so today I've got you inside. I'm going to teach you how to make my world famous homemade chicken salad. But before we get started, take a few minutes to check out our YouTube channel, Wicked Outdoor Adventures. Smash that subscribe button and check out all the videos that we have. Also, we offer some of the best hunting, fishing, outdoors, health, and of course, food recipes. Let's get started on today's video. The items you're going to need to make this chicken salad are you're going to need some fresh celery, some blanched almonds, Duke's light mayonnaise for you keto watchers, two boiled eggs. I like brown eggs because I have more protein. You're going to need a can of fresh chicken. We use Swanson's. Black pepper and parsley flakes. Well, let's get Take started. Take your two eggs, put them in a bowl, take your fork, and you just mash these up good. I mean smash them good. You can smash these eggs like you're going to smash that subscribe button there on the channel. But mash them up good, get them broke up good, mix them up really good. If you're not really, don't like a lot of egg, you can just put one, or you can put up to three. I put two. Seems like two has just the perfect mixture. Just smash it up. Like so. There you go. Your egg's good. Smash it up. Next thing you want to do is you want to drop your chicken in here. Make sure you drain this chicken really good, get it as dry as possible. You're not going to need to put any salt in this if you use canned chicken, because canned chicken will have a lot of sodium they put in there to keep it fresh. So you're not going to need to add any salt. Dump your chicken in there. And then you're just going to mix all that up. Take a little bit of parsley flakes. You always got to have parsley flakes with chicken. Take a little bit of black pepper. Get that all mixed up nice and good in there. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to take some of your almonds. Some people use walnuts, which works fine too. But I'm going to put walnuts in mine. I got just enough bag up in here, this bag, but folks, I made some the other day and of course it was so good I ate it all. Now I'm mixing all that up. Getting it good and ground up, mixed up. Take your celery, dump it in there. I like lots of celery, you can kind of just it's best not to put too much to begin with, and then if you'd like to add some more, you can always go back and add more. If you put too much, and you, it, then you, you're, you've messed your whole recipe up. So start out with light celery, and then add it as you feel necessary. Okay, we're almost ready for the last ingredient. As you can see here, I've got all this mixed up. Now, if you keto watchers, I like Duke's Light Mayonnaise. It's low on carbs, it's low on fat, and it has no sugar. So... The key to mayonnaise is, do you like your chicken salad dry, or do you like it really moist? I like mine dry, so I'm going to put two big old tablespoons in there to start out. Remember, put in not very much beginning, mix it up, see how dry it is. Get that texture you want, which this is perfect for me. Not too much mayonnaise, it's exactly the way I want it. And this is going to be your finished product. Now, what I like to do with my chicken salad after I got it all good and mixed up, it's kind of like a lot of people do with their potato salad. I like to let it set overnight. So I'm going to reach up here, grab me some aluminum foil. this up. 
Boom. Going to put it in the refrigerator. 24 hours from now, we'll be back. Let's see how it turned out. Hang tight. Alrighty, guys. We're back. It's day two. And here we go. 24 hours later. Let's just see how it turned out. It looks good. Take my fork here a little bit. Give me a bite of it. To die for. This is awesome. Homemade chicken salad. Go to Food City. You can get this keto bread. This is Soleil. It only has four net carbs per piece. It's 70 calories. So if you want to make a sandwich, you can use this. You're keto friendly. You can eat it plain, which is the way I like it. Or you can eat it with some crackers. But either way, you're going to love our homemade chicken salad. Till next time, tight lines, stay safe.